soap is really the story of a stone soup. It's the stone of possibilities. It's sort of the stone of imagination. And the fire really is the burning fire of the effort of the team. I, along with seven IBM labs and fabs and four universities, are trying to bring together neuroscience, supercomputing, and nanotechnology to create a radically different computer architecture that mimics the function, low power, small size, and real time of the human brain. Modern computers, because of their sequential, symbolic nature, can be likened to the left brain, whereas the human brain is capable of parallel, short, complex thinking, and it can be likened to the right brain. While on one hand, our competitors are chasing the tail end of the left brain computers, IBM is opening up entirely new way of computing, thinking, and serving our customers, thereby giving rise to a continuum of architectures between the left brain von Neumann machines and the right brain cognitive computers. We have created breakthrough chips at the scale of a worm brain, and now we are on the path to create a new True North chip at the scale of B brain. The chip is playing Pong much like a human would play Pong with another by looking at the table. These are the sensory neurons, these are the motor neurons, and the chip is moving the paddle so as to meet the ball. Here you see the tiny little chip recognizing a digit. This is the chip's retina on which I'm writing the digit three. You can see I have barely finished writing the digit three. However, in chip's own mind, it's already completed part of the letter. And here, it's guessing what the letter is. And here, you put an electrode into the chip's brain and you see the firing activity to recognize the digit. Brain wall itself contains 64 million pixels. That's equivalent to number of neurons in the rat cerebral cortex. In quest for cognitive computing, we have mapped the largest long distance wiring diagram in the monkey brain. Each bundle of wire actually represents a physical connection that the brain makes over long distances. Taken as a whole, this is the most comprehensive glimpse that we have had into structure of the brain and how the structure modulates dynamics and how the dynamics gives rise to behavior. And as we wanted to understand the brain, this is one visualization that we developed which maps a monkey brain atlas into a spreadsheet. The human brain has awesome powers of sensation, perception, cognition, emotion, action, and interaction. It can bring together multiple sensory modalities while consuming less power than a light bulb and occupying less volume than a two liter bottle of soda. We have to shift from long sequential thinking to short parallel thinking. We can then set about to tilt the very plane of technology towards the brain, towards better computing, towards a new era of computing, cognition, and a new way of serving our customers. Cognitive computing is only possible within IBM. Where else can you hope to bring together so many disparate technological elements and so many people with so many different perspectives and try to create something that is impossible and make it possible not decades from now, but today.